Hello, Secoit families and Eagle families. This is Mr. Newberry, the principal of Lakes Community High School. Mr. Hamilton, the principal of Antioch Community High School, and I would like to share some updates for the 2021-2022 school year with you. As challenging as this past school year has been, we do have major celebrations. We are so proud that we were able to serve the majority of our students through in-person learning beginning in late spring and throughout the majority of the school year during the pandemic. Our students, our staff, and our families have shown resilience and grit that is just absolutely amazing, as well as the professionalism of our staff and our highly committed teachers who are dedicated to making sure that we are giving the best education possible to your children. The district summer school program allowed many students to either get ahead or take a bridge course or even to recoup some credits that they lost. And both schools were recognized as the best high schools in the Illinois by the U.S. News and World Report. Additionally, we were able to host a COVID-19 vaccine event in which we were able to serve over 225 students, both from our school and feeder schools in the area. The Fieldhouse construction project is nearing its completion and we look for a grand opening in early August. And the bonds for Lakes Community High School have been fully paid. So residents will start to see a reduction in the property taxes that they are paying towards Community High School District 117. All of those are highly worthy of celebration. We are equally proud of the school safety strategies we used this past school year, and we are going to continue to use a layered prevention measure model um, to make sure that the students in the building and the staff in the building are safe. That includes face masks for those that have yet been vaccinated. We've increased the ventilation in the building and continue to change the filters. We will be employing social distancing um, up to six feet. We do encourage you to continue to uh, wash your hands and watch your distance. Uh, we will be employing contact tracing and symptom screening. And you see some other measures that we're taking on this slide as well. I wanted to take a moment just to clarify the mitigating measures of social distancing. It is three feet minimum uh, within the classrooms between students. However, in the cafeteria, per the current guidance, we still have to maintain a six feet distance uh, between each student. Therefore, we are still maintaining the open lunch option for juniors and seniors that qualify based upon grades, attendance, and uh, discipline. To see if you do qualify, please check in with the dean's office and they have a form for you to complete that will require your parent's signature. Approximately a week ago, the Center for Disease Control, the CDC, released new guidance for schools, which was adopted by the Illinois Department of Public Health and the Illinois State Board of Education. And what that guidance indicates for us is that if you are fully vaccinated, you can choose whether or not you wear a mask in, in our schools. However, if you are not vaccinated, um, you are still required to wear a mask when you enter our schools. Now, a more specific plan with specific data measurements is being developed as we speak. And as soon as that is completed, we will release that to the public. I'm proud to say that along with Principal Dave Newberry at Lakes Community High School, we have come together in a district-wide focus for this year based upon our mission statement to ignite passion and discovery in every student. We will do that by encouraging a sense of belonging. We know that your students do better when they are participating in an athletic or activity or fine arts. That gives them a richer experience in high school. We know that by having that richer experience and that sense of belonging that we can accelerate their learning so that we are able to maintain the statuses that we have as highly performing high schools in the state of Illinois. We will continue to provide a safe environment for our staff and students and make sure that we are providing supports for them socially and emotionally as needed through our highly qualified personnel. And now I'm turning it over to Principal Dave Newberry from Lakes. Hello, Eagle and Secoid families. This is Mr. Newberry, your proud principal of Lakes Community High School. 
Mr. Hamilton shared with you some of our focuses for this year. I just wanted to expand on one of those focuses, which is a student's sense of belonging at our schools and in our schools. I'll let you read this slide, but I will end this with, you know, in the end, we want our students to feel accepted, have attention and support from members of the group, which is our students and staff in our schools. And we feel that our students will be much more successful if they have that sense of belonging in our schools. So how do we measure that sense of belonging? How do we know if our students feel like they're valued members of our school communities? Twice a year, for the last several years, we've been giving our students the panorama survey. And in terms of sense of belonging, the bullet points on the right-hand side of your slide are some of the questions that they ask the students to answer in the panorama survey. Here are some data that we gleaned from the uh, panorama survey. So you will see in this area of sense of belonging, 47% uh, of our students have answered in the top two categories uh, in this five choice question um, that is presented by Panorama. Uh, the green bell-shaped curve behind it is all schools that are similar to Lakes and Antioch Community High Schools. And you can see uh, we're, we're to the right-hand side of that, which our numbers are strong. We're about 70th percentile compared to other schools. Um, but we want to raise that number from 47% of our students uh, answering positively on that sense of belonging. Uh, we want to get that up because we feel it's important that our students have that sense of belonging and they will do better academically if they have that sense of belonging. So how do we get our students to have a stronger sense of belonging in their school's community? Well, it's all about engagement. In the curriculum, in clubs and activities, athletics and fine arts. We know that students who are interested in clubs and activities and interested in the curriculum have a stronger sense of belonging and develop stronger relationships with other students and with the staff. If you look at the chart off to the right, you will see average grade point average and then number of activities that students are involved in. And this is District 117 data. And as you look at it, you can see a correlation between a higher grade point average and the number of activities that students are involved in. So we feel it is important to really push students to get involved in these activities and to take classes that they really enjoy so that they can be really engaged in the curriculum. Hopefully you have completed the registration, which was due by July 15th. If you have not done so, we ask that you please go in as soon as possible to complete your registration. There are some other important dates of which we want to inform you. Uh, Monday, August 9th is our freshman orientation, and that night we welcome the parents in during the evening so you can hear about what happened during the day with your students and to answer any general questions you have. Our first day with those freshmen will be Friday, August 13th, and that's a half day for them. And then all students are returning on Monday, August 16th. Please know that that Monday is a late start Monday. And we do ask that before the first day of school that all and any immunization records and medical records are into our office. Here's our bell schedule for the upcoming school year. You can see that uh, Tuesday through Friday, we have a normal bell schedule. Uh, first period will start at eight o'clock. Uh, zero hour will start at 7.05, and then we'll end the academic day at 3.15. On late start Mondays, um, regular classes will start at 9.20, and we'll end at 3.15 again, and that provides our teachers time on Monday morning for professional development and teaming uh, to work on the best ways to instruct your students. And finally, some other important information for you. Please know that physical education classes will be dressing for class, so they will be changing in the locker room. And that does also mean that your students will have use of a hallway locker if they would like one. 
Um, we will be talking to them during the first couple days of school just to let them know to ask us if they do need that locker. With regards to lunch, while we are still maintaining the six feet of physical distancing, one other mitigating measure is that we ask that you apply money to the student's lunch account rather than having them bring cash. That will help uh, continue to mitigate and diminish the spread of this virus. And we are really looking forward to a great school year. Well, thank you, Secoid families and Eagle families for watching these updates from Mr. Hamilton and myself. If you have any questions, please contact your appropriate school and we will answer those questions for you. Have an excellent rest of your summer.